G'day all. Gonna do a little experiment now. Um, just got a GP3500 in, it's just stock standard. Which is that one there. And if you can hear... There's a target going over the um, crossover coil. That's the response we're getting from the 3500. I don't know if you can see, but uh, I'll see if I can move the light here. It's on um, sensitive, it's on deep, signal's flat out, everything else is basically flat out on it. And on the front, it's in fixed. Um, Mono and uh, yes, nothing else of interest there. But anyway, a little bit of interference coming through now, which I think is um, the plasma TV just got turned on. Causes a hell of a lot of interference. But anyway, that's the 3500. Now, the other day I, I uh, put a video up with the um, GP Extreme. I've done some more work on this Extreme a lot of work around the front end of this and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the GP3500 let's pull the power out and I'm going to connect it up onto this one here okay and sorry for about the camera work but uh, you need two hands to do this okay we're connected up onto the GP3000 so, let it settle a bit. Now, the same setup. Listen to the signal difference. Yeah, I've done a lot of work on the uh, front end. I've put a lot of. Um, better devices, um, lower um, resistance and lower capacitance and uh, the detectors are a hell of a lot more sensitive. I'll tell you the truth, when I first um, had this set up I had the target like so, adjusted so that I could just not hear it. So what I've done is worked on the detector and tried to get the uh, maximum amount of signal and this is what I've come up with. Yeah, so this should be a real ripper. Um, this detector belongs to Spencer, and a uh, few guys will know who he is. He should be quite happy when he gets this one to go and play with. It's very, very quiet. It's just cracking the threshold. It's actually, it's less noisy than the uh, 3500 actually, and. and I've got the whole thing in bits without its case, so it's not shielded. It should actually be noisier, but it's not. It's very, very sweet. The other thing too, um, I've got this little, remember the tiny little nugget here? Tiny little bit of gold? I wouldn't even call it a nugget, it's a fleck. I mean, yeah, I can get up around about 10 centimetres now. But we don't want to go looking for little fly specks. There's other detectors out there that'll do that. But these um, are quite uh, good. So there you go. There's a modified 3000. Um, um, blows the 3500 away. But a modified 3500 um, is another beast altogether. That's the one I use. That's the one over there in the corner. Oh, I don't even know if you can see that. There you go. That's my own one I use. So anyway, catches.